Hi, Leo, I'm back. Did you miss me? <laughs> I know you did. Okay, look, I've already pulled cards. We're going to do this a little different than we used to do it. Um, just to kind of save some time for you so you don't have such a long video to watch. So I pulled the cards. I did clarifiers. And now we're going to go through it. And I'm going to tell you your story. Are you ready? Because this is, this is pretty cool, right? So the very first card out is the lover's card which is the two of cups in the traditional tarot. Okay. And then you've got release upside down. It came out in reverse. And I'm like, that's weird. We've got the lovers and then refusal to release something. Okay. Then you have the sun card, also a beautiful card and the energy of Leo. Then you have the three of cups. That's all about a celebration. And then you have the seven of wands, which is about victory. Again, celebration. And then on the bottom of the deck, you have the moon. But the moon is about being emotional, right? Which, I mean, granted, you could be over the moon happy, right? It doesn't have to be bad emotion. So I get the clarifier cards. And now the story forms. The picture forms. Because the lover card coming out right out the gate. You have love coming in and it's clarifying itself with the two of cups, the lover's card. It clarified with its own card. Okay. So you do have a soulmate, a true soulmate, twin flame, lover, partner for life coming in and coming in fast. But there's more. You need strength, which is the Leo card. That's you. That's you. And the Knight of Wands, that's your divine counterpart. You are the strength and they are the courage that's charging in. Okay. But now release. Release is in reverse. So what's up with release in reverse? Well, you've got the Nine of Swords. That's about worry, right? unfounded worry even the two of pentacles which means you're juggling seven of pentacles which means you're looking at what you've been growing and not real satisfied with the uh, harvest so to speak then you have the empress and the devil and again i think this is you and someone else maybe you're dealing with capricorn and that's why you've got the devil energy or maybe you're in some kind of toxic relationship currently or you're refusing to release some kind of toxic relationship, something that's not good for you in some sense of the word toxic. Okay. It's not fulfilling you. It's not growing. It's not blossoming. It's not feeding your soul, right? It's not feeding your soul. Now, how do I know that it's not feeding your soul? Not just because of this devil energy card, but because you're juggling between home life and work, but you have your back to this home life, this partnership with someone. You have your back to them. They're not as important to you. That bird flying in front of you is more important to you. You're looking at that bird. They're behind you. You're juggling them, but they're not very important to you because they're not fulfilling your soul. And you're a little worried over that. That's kind of stressing you out a bit. But not a lot, not a lot. You're looking at what you've grown together and you're not that impressed with it, not that interested. And then here you are, you're this empress. Now the empress, she knows how to manifest. She knows how to grow a crop. That's why she's disappointed herself. Okay. So then we get to the sun card. And if one card clarifying itself isn't enough, you get two. Because the clarifier is the sun card, which means the promise of happiness. The promise of you, Leo, sitting in your full power, your full abundance, your full joy. And having a really great partnership with someone after you release whoever this fool is. That is not fulfilling you. That you're not feeling it right? You're not feeling it. Just be honest with yourself. You're not. 
you don't feel that. That's like a meh. Then you've got the Page of Cups. Or excuse me, the Page of Pentacles. Which is somebody coming in with a new offer. Fresh love. Fresh energy. Fresh opportunities for abundance. For something that could fill your soul. Right? Make you excited about life again. And the tarot says you're going to have that celebration. You've got this Three of Cups here. Right? This is a celebration. You and your family getting together and being like, yippee, let's have a party. I found my true love. Whatever it is. Whatever. Whatever your story is there. You know. But this tower moment has to happen first. You see, that was the clarifier for the three of cups. You can't have that celebration until you let this tower fall. And you're kind of holding that close to your chest, but you still have your back to it. You're holding on to it. You're clinging to it. But you still have your back to it. You're not letting it go. Why not? Then you've got the seven of wands, which is about victory. Success. Okay. And yes, we could read this all as some business opportunity as well. Certainly. You want the great business opportunity. You have to let go of the one you're in now. To move forward. But we have the lover's card. So that's like a soulmate union. So that kind of trumps the financial part of this. But yes, if you wanted to, you could certainly read this as career and finance rather than love. And I typically try to find everything in your general mundane life to read into the cards, not just love. But this one is strongly screaming love at me. Okay? Strongly. Now, to clarify your Seven of Wands victory that you can have, that you will have, provided you release this Capricorn or meh relationship you got going on. Your Seven of Wands is clarified by the Nine of Wands, which means you've went through a bit of a struggle. At some point in your life, you've been through some relationship struggles. And you're sitting here in a position now to where you don't want to have to have conflict again. You don't want to have to have conflict. So maybe that's why you don't release this. Because you don't want to have to deal with the drama of it. And it's just easier to juggle it and keep your back to it. And stare at that bird flying over your head in front of you instead. Because then at least you wouldn't have to deal with the drama. Right? But in order to have this King of Wands, which is real energy of something solid. A real promise of someone that can be a companion to you. Be very compatible with you. In order to have that fresh new start. That promise of that new love. And get that victory. You have to remember who you are. As a strong warrior. Who was not defeated in the past. But was the successor. Was not the victim. But the victor. Remember your strength, Leo. Remember your strength. And you can get through this diplomatically without the drama. Now, so that brings us to the last card, which was the moon. Emotions, right? You don't want the emotions of this, of the drama, of the, you know, maybe this person ain't so bad. They're just, meh. And so you don't want to hurt them, okay? That's emotional, right? That's completely emotional. And understandable. To clarify that, you have five cards. Five cards flew out to clarify these emotions. So, you have the Eight of Cups, which is you. You got eight cups, but you're not really satisfied with them. You'd rather have nine cups or ten cups, but you got your back to them. You got your back to those eight cups that you have. You're not really that happy about them. But you keep telling yourself, but at least I got eight cups. But then you've got your back to them. You're not happy. It's not fulfilling you. Then you got the three of pentacles. Three of pentacles is 
another emotion you're feeling right now because you really do want that union. You want that companionship, that compatibility, that things in common, you know. <coughs> Excuse me. You have the Ten of Wands, which is the emotion of feeling like you're the only one that has to put effort into relationships. And maybe this one you don't have to put a lot of effort in. They're okay with you just juggling them and having your back to them. They're settling for less, even from you. No offense. And so you don't want to have to put that extra work in without getting that balance back. And maybe it's just easier to stay in the relationship you're in because you don't have to put in that hard work, that arduous, arduous work, right? And then another one of your emotions is the King of Cups, because that's really what you want. You really want love. You want that spark. You want that excitement. And this person doesn't do that for you. You have no pizzazz with that person whatsoever. Whoa, well, and I about dropped this card. And that's the Knight of Pentacles, again, showing up twice in your reading, which is this person that has an offer that's exciting that has value, that has bulk, that has oomph to it, right? It's got that spark in it that can kickstart something really beautiful between the two of you. But you have to be willing to release this mundane, half-assed, boring relationship that you're in now before you can get it. But all of your cards are screaming success if you do just that. Success in love. Success in business. Abundance of all shapes and forms. Complete abundance. The happily ever after. You have that. Now we're going to look at your love oracle. For Leo, please. For October 25th to November 25th of 2021. Leo in love, please. Leo in love. Let's see what you got. Maybe you're only going to get the one. There it is. Let go of control issues and finances and career are affecting your love life right now. Hmm. And true love is yours to have. But it's not there yet, is it? Haven't found the one yet. All right, moving on to the 111 Advice and Guidance from Spirit cards. You are only as limited as you believe that you are. Eliminate who or what does not feed your heart and soul. What the caterpillar sees as the end is what source calls a butterfly. And you are your own judgment day. So you need to decide. Are you okay in the meh relationship? Or would you like to have that spark and pizzazz of real compatibility? You can decide that your karma is paid at any time. You are enough. Believe in yourself. Soulmates aren't always the fairy tale, sometimes the lesson. Forgive yourself. Give yourself permission to let go. The original sin is to limit the maker, so don't. That means don't limit yourself either. That's twice you've gotten that. You get a lot of clarifiers in these cards today. I'm telling you what. And the last card is find your tribe. Rarely do members of one family truly grow up together. Find your tribe. Find your soul tribe. All right. Now we're going to go to a rune to close out your reading. my glasses. I can't see what that is. Okay.
This is the self. The starting point is the self. Its essence is water. Only clarity, willingness to change, is effective now. Huh. Let's read that again. The starting point is the self. Its essence is water. Only clarity and willingness to change is effective now. A correct relationship to yourself is primary. For from it flow all possible right relationships with others and the divine. Remain modest. That is the oracle's counsel. Regardless of how great your merit may be. Be yielding, devoted, and moderate. For then you have a true direction for your life. Be in the world, but not of it. And yet do not be closed, narrow, or judging. Rather, remain receptive to impulses flowing from the divine within and without. Strive to live the ordinary life in a non-ordinary way. In other words, to the beat of your own drum. Who cares what people think? <clears throat> Strive, oh yeah, I said that. Remember at all times what is coming to be and passing away and focus on that which abides. Nothing less is called for from you now. This is a time of major growth and rectification. And as a rule, rectification must come before progress. The field is tilled before the seed is planted. The garden is weeded before the flowers will bloom. And the self must know stillness before it can discover its true song. Now is not a time to seek credit for accomplishment or to focus on results. Instead, be content to do your task for the sake of the task. Herein lies the secret of experiencing a true presence and a true present. If you take the rune of the self and you cut it down the middle, you will see that the rune is the rune for joy with its mirror image. There, it, there is here a subtle caution against carelessness. The self is required to balance the self. Nothing in excess was the second phrase written over the gateway to the temple of Delphi. The first counsel was to know thyself. All right, very good. That fits perfectly with you learning to release what doesn't serve you and your highest good and your highest joy and um, resolving to move toward what does and allowing the divine to lead it to you simply because you trust and you release. All right. So the sooner you do that, the sooner you find your true soulmate, your true twin flame. And I wish you all of the best in getting there. Um, Y'all have really leveled up recently. So I see you getting there pretty quickly. Um, until we meet again for next month's reading, I love you. Be well, be blessed, and love and light.